Yep, we murdered everyone, we're without Hendrix and the only one left is Taylor and holy shit he's got a murder ship. There is no rhyme or reason for this giant ship appearing, but there doesn't need to be because the badass Taylor being controlled by Corvus has their ways. It's essentially the helicopter fight from Metal Gear Solid except highly compressed, because rather than a health bar in this fight, the ship could be taken down with two missiles in each of its four engines, because of course one engine can power that entire mothership. It just had the other three for decoration, but it's not like I can start questioning video game logic after everything that's happened in the last six hours of this bloody game. This fight was really close to being a good battle. If it had more health, and if the ads had been the grunt robots instead of the raps death spheres, where there was great potential for a great final stand with Christopher Maloney, and while it wasn't terrible per se, the fact that the fight can be ended immediately if you run out of ammo fending off the six raps it spawns means that it can quickly become tedious on repeat. Although, the ending cutscene does make it all worth it, since Taylor's death means that the party can go on in Hendrix's insane mind hands. You can't blame him for shooting Taylor, since that's the plan for a huge chunk of this game and he had been established as this corrupted villain insane person guy. I'd rather just throw out the scoreboard and sprint to the end of this thing yelling VICTORY FOR GAMERS all the way there. 